Okay, what is going on guys? Uh, this will be my last video on my downtown adventures because I'm not gonna have a good experience just based on this video, spoiler alert by the way, but keep watching if you guys want to hear my L for the day. So essentially, um, the reason why I decided to go to, go to downtown LA today was because my friend, uh, my two friends, one's Filipino, one's Chinese, uh, we essentially had a Zoom call, I believe, around two weeks ago, and my Filipino friend, he was pretty much saying, like, oh, you know, for my Jane, we, me, you, and that's Kara Gwen, me, you, and Gwen, we should go, um, you know, hang out and go shopping so that we can, like, buy you business casual clothes, because we were talking about business stuff and sort of the formal uh, dresses or the formal protocols they needed to wear in certain companies and all that, so... I was like, okay, let's do it. And originally, you we were supposed to go last Saturday, but uh, my friend, let's just call him Gabe. My friend Gabe and his other friends, they wanted to go hiking. So I'm like, okay, bro, you know, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, like, be uh, prohibiting you guys from doing other things, too. You know, I mean, if, 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 if you have other friends, you know, go hang off them, too. You know, like, don't make me and Gwen the only exceptions, you know. Like, definitely try to spend as many as much time with your other friends as much as possible. So, yeah, I mean, uh, today was pretty good for me. I arrived pretty early. I think I arrived around at around 9.29, I think. So, afterwards, I waited for around, say, like 30, 35 minutes for Gabe to show up. Gabe showed up on time, so I was very happy. And then the problem was, however, that my friend Gwen, she kind of overslept. So then we had to wait another 40-something minutes, close to an hour, for her to arrive. And I remember she was um, kind of lost a bit because this was her this was her first time going to downtown LA, in a long, long time. Honestly, I think the last time she told me she went to downtown LA was like four or five years ago, and she was telling me kind of things like, "Oh, a lot of things have changed." And I'm like, "Yeah, they definitely have changed, you know." But anyways, um, we decided to go to uh, two shopping areas in the place called the Block in downtown LA. I it's near the Fashion District area. Um, so yeah, we went to this place called Macy's, or I'm sorry, we went to Macy's, everybody does, Everybody knows Macy's, we went to Macy's and we went to Unico. So we went to Macy's originally because we were just looking for sort of like that middle class, high end tuxedo, that three piece kind of shit. And everything was going good until, um, you know, I started to realize that some of the clothes, they weren't fitting me well. And then, uh, my friend Gabe, he talked to one of the, uh, the, the employees. And they're like, oh, our our uh, our tailor comes at twelve. So I'm like, okay, uh, I guess we'll we'll be back at twelve. So we we'll just go to Unico for a bit. And with the Unico, we actually ended up, um, or I actually ended up spending around one hundred and thirty, because my friend gave them to bring two hundred. So I'm like, okay, sure, I'll bring it. I'll bring in cash right away because if my credit card gets stolen, dude, that's gonna be a lot more money than two hundred. I'll I'll definitely tell you guys that right now because you know two hundred is very little, honestly. Uh, but anyways. Um, after that, uh, you know, after we, or after I went shopping, uh, my friend Gwen, she bought some stuff too. So after we went shopping, um, I, like I said, I think I spent it around 130. I think it was 160 before, but I guess because of the sale they were having, it was getting like a 30, 40%. I'm not good at math, so don't quote me on that, but I, I definitely was surprised to find out that I wasn't spending as much as I thought it would be. I thought I end I thought I end up going home broke honestly, so I'm happy that I didn't spend much money. And then afterwards, um, the good vibes continued for a bit. We decided to go eat lunch at around two or three. We went to this Japanese place, and dude, there are so many Asians, man. Like, damn, bro, this is crazy. Like, this is the Asian centric part, which I feel very comfortable with, you know, because while I was waiting, while I was walking with my friend uh, Gabe, you know, I saw so many Caucasians. You know, a few African Americans, a few Hispanics, and I bring this up because I just wanted to showcase how, you know, even though Asians are sort of like, you know, the fastest growing ethnic group in the United States, you know, when you look at places like downtown LA, you know, we, we're still a pretty small faction. But I think it's also because, you know, it's very ghetto, it's a very big city, like the older Chinese people, like my mom or my grandpa, they probably wouldn't like coming here, but the youngins like me and my friends, I guess we we're okay coming here, you know, like we feel safe in a way. Which is, uh, which is uh, funny because I didn't feel safe later on, but anyways. Uh, so yeah, we went to eat at this Japanese place. Um, my friend recommended that I try their Japanese... Uh, well, it's only four minutes, fuck, okay. Um, anyways, my friend recommended that I try out this uh, dish. It's called a Japanese curry. So it was uh, rice, it was curry, and it was uh, chicken katsu, which is sort of like... A, I mean, if you guys eat on Hawaii, you guys will know what chicken katsu is, but it's like a, 
it's chicken and the skin is like fried which is very similar to uh, one of her Cantonese style food. I forgot the name, but it's like a crunchy skin. I usually refer to that as crunchy skin, but yeah, it's kind of like kind of like that same format. So you know, we were just having a good time. They were talking about their stuff. I, I was just sort of like listening, eating on the side, you know, just making small talk in there, and everything was going pretty well. Um, my friends didn't surprise me too because I think two of them they started speaking a little bit of Japanese because it was a Japanese place, and I was like, yo, this sounds kind of cringy, but uh. I'm happy that they're able to respect these people because, you know, they're Japanese too, so it's like, that's cool. And, of course, you know, all good things must come to an end, and funnily enough, when we were about to head home, this little fucking asshole, just like in my last video, came out of nowhere. So pretty much, I think we were walking around the, I don't know what street we were on, but it was a very big street, I have to say. Uh, we were crossing, you know, it was a green light, pedestrian sign, you know, all, all green lights good to go, right? Everybody should be happy, yeah? So I was walking with my friends, I was like maybe two or three feet behind. And we, we were very, very close to touching the curb, or like, I was night. we were like 95%. And then all of a sudden, or while I was walking, by the way, I saw this elderly Hispanic dude, a Mexican dude, he had gray hair, he was on his bike. I was like, okay, I thought this guy was going to stop for me because, you know, I have to ride away, right? I have the according to the law I have the the permission to go first because you know I need to cross and I don't want to get killed or hurt but I guess this guy maybe he came from Mexico or from fucking Colombia or some shit this guy doesn't understand American uh, traffic system literally fucking sees me because like I, I kind of like I wasn't mad dogging him or nothing but I, I, I glanced on the left and the right to make sure that this wouldn't happen but I guess this guy's a fucking foreigner or something because he fucking crashed into me. Good thing I was wearing long sleeves though. I, he crashed into me, I felt a bit of pain. And then I just kept walking with my Chinese friend. And then my my, my Filipino friend, uh, Gabe, he's like, Hey bro, like don't worry about it. Just do this, okay, this, okay, you know, don't worry about it. And he was talking to the other guy for a bit. And this guy all of a sudden he just starts calling me like a puto and a fucking idiot. Like he was cussing me out in Spanish because he thought I was, um, he thought I... He thought I caused him to crash, but I'm like, bro, I literally gave you a glance, man. You should fucking know that, you know, when I give you a glance like that, you should just stop for me, okay? Like, I don't, you don't have to speak English, too. You know, this guy, I'm pretty sure he wasn't even American. He was probably from Mexico or some shit, but you don't have to speak English to know that, you know, when people give, when people look at you like that, you should just stop, okay? Like, I wasn't giving him, like, a hostile kind of vibe. I was just giving him the heads up, but I guess he didn't, he didn't read my signal, and he just fucking... Just like in my last video, he misrepresented my uh, my motives. You know, I was planning to just walk home injury free, but I ended up getting a few bruises. And honestly, these kind of people, you know, again, I I think there's a special place in hell for these kind of people. I mean, if anything, I mean, even if you're not an American, I think you should at least learn how, you know, our country works when it comes to like big cities like downtown LA. Because you know, I think the environment of downtown LA is very very uh, like sometimes ghetto sometimes relax i mean on one hand it's nice to see buildings the size of new york but when you have homeless people wandering around like a bunch of minus zombies i think that really says a lot about downtown no way being a place where you know uh being a place where anybody can kind of fit in you know like you don't have to be american you don't have to be mexican you know you just got to be you i mean if you want to be a retard and and preach about like how you know you're, you're an anti-vaxxer then so be it. you don't know like this shit but you know, I I just think this guy should know. I mean, like, I don't know how they, they, they do things back in his country, but I would at least assume that, you know, green light means, you know, that I can go, not you can go, okay? Maybe he was in a rush, maybe he had a bad day, or maybe he took my perceived uh, glance. I only looked at him for two seconds, by the way, but maybe he took my glance as a sign of that, like, I was threatening him, or I was, like, giving him a reason to hit me. And I knew it was intentional, too, because he let my friends go through. But then when he saw me look at him he was like okay i'm gonna get this fucking asian so boom just like that hits me i mean granted by the way when he hit me or when he crashed into me i didn't fall down it was more of like he couldn't really run me over because his fucking front tire couldn't do shit it just gave me a few bruises but I i'm glad he didn't like fucking run over me like a like a, a how do you say a roadkill or something or like a animal you know i'm glad he didn't harm any of my internal bodies or my internal organs because those are more important i'm glad he just kind of scraped off a few skin because this shit can heal easily you know and he's old too so i'm like yo what are you doing here bro like you should not be driving a bike going 60 miles per hour in a residential area okay 
I know the cops aren't here. I know you can like be as free as you want in this country or in this city, but at least fucking follow the rules, bro. Like, I mean, that's just not with him too. But uh, I just wonder, you know, like a uh, guy that doesn't speak English speaks Spanish. I don't have nothing wrong with those kind of people, but I would think that you would at least once again not to sound like a broken record. I would think he would at least get used to our culture first, you know. But I think for those kind of people, they're just happy. F- that you know they're free from their tyrannical government or they're just like you know happy to breathe the same air that i breathe you know but sometimes they might take things a bit personal because they jumped the gun too much but that being said um yeah i mean overall i, I just think he went after me which is weird because uh to quickly recap i thought this whole anti-asian shit was only for like the weeks they are not the week only for like the vulnerable people like the elderly or children but for it to happen to people like me that are usually pretty young and that are pretty Americanized that can kind of like adapt to this American culture, I was in shock that I was honestly thinking that these kind of people would go after like, you know, the elderly or their children as I said earlier, but I, I guess it's like, you know, uh, they don't really care as long as they hurt people. I think that's kind of their main motive. I mean, it, it can maybe, you know, maybe that's part of their anti-Asian agenda. I don't know. Again, I don't want to bring race into this, but I have to... But I think there's definitely a big correlation, you know, if you look at the history of, like, you know, Chinese people being banned in, in America back in the day, and you look at this, this whole vaccine or this whole pandemic from China, like, I think there are definitely some correlations that can be made, but I'm not here to really talk about that. I'm just here to talk about my, my experience for the day. But regardless, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think the minute uh, the government or the city council, the minute they just show homeless people, because I know, like, when I went to Cuba, by the way, um... They didn't even show any homeless at all. It was just so like it was so uh, positive. They didn't want to show the negative parts of Cuba, but downtown I was like, "Hey, fuck it, you know, I'll show the positive and the negative. You know, no, I don't care what you think. You know, it's that very brash American stubbornness that makes us so uh, loved and hate, according to foreigners and all that." But anyways, uh, this video is getting pretty long, so I apologize. But um, yeah, hopefully that's it for this video. Downtown way, I don't think I'm gonna do any more of this shit. So. Uh, it's, um, I apologize for shitting on your guys' parade, but for my safety and for my health, I just don't want to be in danger.